Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov and the house that refuses to leave. <laughs> anyway, that's the house we're still trying to get rid of. I had two others right here that that have been evacu evacuated, no, vacated and demolished. And as soon as we get another house done, you? Yeah, we just got to take the rest of these trees down. So once these three lots of trees leave, then we can start building another house. And then we'll hopefully this time, though that first house, as soon as I click to move over to, I don't know if it was this one or this one, they, uh, the game said, uh-uh, and moved a, a new couple in. So it's possible that we'll fail again. That split second between me clicking was enough for the game to go through and, and recalculate. So, we may or may not move it, we'll see. You guys are waiting for another worker. You don't really have much in the way of ore anyway, and and we'll be shutting this down. Um, there, A comment came in about getting a warehouse over here with lumber, since that's what these guys are going to need, and a warehouse worker then to go out and be bringing it over. So, long term, I'd say yes. At right now, this is just an experiment. It's just to see how ore and iron work so we can see the smelter turn once in a while later on we'll get more mines going and and houses out in there and or these guys will be their workers but I've got a few more row houses to put in before then and where are we july so we're about near the end of a food run a food year august potatoes start to come in september honey starts to come in and October, all of the gardens come in. So where are we? We've got... Does that... No, okay. <laughs> I read that wrong. 16,000 honey? What? No, 1,600 honey. Okay. We've got onions left over. We've got beetroots left over. We've got horseradish left over. We've got pumpkins left over, garlic left over, and there's still some cherries floating around. Oh, this is July, so the cherries are just arriving. Okay. So, it looks like we have enough food to feed ourselves, plus some extra. Question is, do we convert that food into more row houses? Which is what I would think. But people have been calling for pigs for a long, long time. And from what I gather from pigs, they're going to pretty much clean up all this extra real quick on us. So it's, it's either pigs or people. I think that's what it comes down to. And where would you put pigs? I suppose out here may be possible, though a lot of this real estate is taken up in, in hay gathering. But maybe a space like right in here. I can just imagine the... Uh, the city council meeting and all the angry people with torches and pitchforks saying, uh-uh, you're not putting a pigsty next to our house. Uh-uh. So do we wait and put them out in here? Get this place occupied. Another set of houses here and over here. Market, hops, farms, and pigs out here. Or do we want to wait that long? We've got sheep over here. Though we're kind of crowded in the way of, in the sense of getting pigs in here, unless we go out into the woods over, over here or something. They need to be near food storage, whether that food for them is going to be a crop or it's going to be leftovers of these that are going to rot anyway, which makes sense. You know, send 300 beetroots out there a year. Uh, wood bridge is done. Okay, so let's get this guy set real quick so we can get this working again and oh I've gotta I've gotta hit this thing just perfectly don't I yeah okay I guess I'm starting here let's get to where I can really line that up I got it lined up pretty good before I mean I gotta start all over stone bridge too low now is which corner is that little post I wish it would start with an actual blueprint of the bridge if I do that so it's off a little bit. So if I hit center, what happens? Center is center. Okay. Now I know. And we're going to come up into here. And pretty much hit right in there. Problem is I can't really see this direction. So if that's center over there, is that pretty level? 
couldn't really see it the last time we laid this out because the other bridge is in the way. Doesn't seem to change the level much as I go up there. So really, in this case, just depends on the starting point. Okay, so the level doesn't change much at all. So it's a matter of what we want the road to look like afterward. And I don't believe these weeds and reeds will leave. They're even in the gardens over here. So whichever ones are in the road are going to be in the road forever. So we could go as far as there. We could take it a little bit further. 7,700 stone. Ouch. 8,700 stone. Almost 10,000 stone there. Let me get where I can see this a little bit better. I guess the road should head all the way down like so. Now, can we see the weeds? There's some right in there. They're still going to be showing at this point. They're in the teal area. So we got to be here if we want to hide all but that one weed right there. I think that's the route to go. So it's right there at 8,700 stone. Okay, now I got a reason to buy stone. There it is. Let's get you moved into place while we're working on all of those houses, taking the uh, trees down. Speed things up. We're into July, which means orchards. And I don't see any more fruit on those trees. Those trees are pretty much done. I don't see anything there. The apples, I expect, yeah, there's still plenty of apples out here. We've given them two months to handle these. And we are two-thirds, three-quarters through July, and they've only done less than half of each of these. So we'll see how well they do. If we get to the end of August and they still have apples on here, then I'll know we need to add another person to those, but I think we're okay with the one worker over two months with this isn't really that large of a of an orchard yet they can get bigger so i think we're going to be okay there all right so we are putting in a well somewhere right there and that's going to help this area another suggestion came in to wherever this bridge ends we have room over here for another well too and yeah i like that so we although we do have one right there uh there you are I have one there but I guess another one over here somewhere could be beneficial. Um, there is an elevation problem, though, for wells. They will not build probably probably where the weeds are. So let's try that. Right here, only low-quality water. So that goes up until... Oh, it's the whole run. Wow. Okay. So I guess the answer is no. Let me rotate this a little bit right there. Yeah, only low quality water through this whole area. It's too low for a well. Okay, well, we got that question answered. All right, so this one is going to have to be the uh, the well that, that kind of relieves the stress on all the other ones. That's about as close as we could get and still be above river water level. I uh, completed the stone well. It's in. Okay. Take our, our drone over here. Now, someone else commented that they've not seen the, the what we'll call the public fruit trees ever lose their fruit, and I haven't either. doesn't mean that they're not picking from it and taking it home. Unfortunately, I've never really been able to witness that either. But it could just be that the game maintains the same graphic, despite the quantity that has been taken off of it. So I, I don't know, and I don't really have the time to sit here and just you know hunt people for an entire you know three or four months to see if anybody ever walks up to a tree and pauses so i'm just gonna have to make guesses on that but luckily is here the the conversation came from the idea of of my idea of putting the uh, the fence in here and putting fruit trees in here i'd be curious to see if after we do all that these houses suddenly get a bunch of cherries or apricots or apples in them from just walking out, walking back in, someone maybe who's not employed and going off looking for for uh, supplies for their home, what actually happens here. So that will be interesting. You are not employed. We've got ore coming in, though. That's good. So next round, we'll be able to make some iron. Iron in the system right now is 434, so we are going up. Okay, so even this tiny little bit that we're doing, which is not efficient at all, is still 
maintaining what we need. And that's that was my goal at this point. We're not looking at it as an industry right now. Um, pause. Blocklia always gets away from me. And in fact, let's just pause completely. You are already down to... Oh, still 18 more days. Okay, let that run. All right, so... Do we... They don't sell leather. Okay, they do sell stone. So, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just do that. We're at... We're at almost 12,000 on our treasury. Wow! It is rolling in well now. Okay. Um, cow, pigs, iron, horse, sheep, lime. Okay, this is all good. Do we want to sell anything? Flour? No. Potatoes? That is coming in right now as we speak. So these are new potatoes. Dried fish? We need to be buying. Oil? We could sell. You only want 361. So I'm pretty much depleting those uh, you know, potential to sell. Sunflower oil... Right there, 361. And we haven't had anybody from this trader, the river trader, I call him, come in for a long, long time. So they would be probably our other source of selling oil. Um, I was just thinking of something else that came up in the comments, but you want to buy from us. I got to I gotta say that to myself out loud so I don't try to buy sallow from them again. <laughs> You want to buy from us. Leather, textile, metal parts, horse tack, honey. Honey, we had, we've, we've got a lot. And we got more coming in next month. Let's sell you a thousand. Deal. And put a thousand in here. Honey, there you are. And temporary stock that one. Okay. I think we've done enough with them. Um, one thing I was thinking of in between was the huge amount of peas we've got coming in. So peas don't rot like almost everything else in these. So we lose some of the whatevers at the end of the season. But peas we don't lose any. That's why it's building up. They would make a good pig food. So there's something that I was thinking of it as just a, uh, a guaranteed amount that would be in our central granary system over here for however many markets we end up using before this series is over. But there will, at the same time, be more and more houses making more peas too. Probably close to proportionately by the time we get all these long lots going over here, which I'm trying to click on. So these are all going to produce copious amounts of peas as well so yeah that could be a pig food <clears throat> if we want to do pigs now or do we want to fire off two or three more of these guys and get this area built so we can get this populated a little bit more and get moving into more industry over here so that's the the balancing act that Ostrov requires you can't just build you've got to compensate and in this case, it's a choice. Food-hungry pigs or food-hungry row houses that don't make their own food. I consider those probably about equal in, uh, in consumption rates. So that is to be thought about. It's not going to be done. We're not going to be doing anything with it right now. Right now, we are getting the... Where am I? It's over here. I guess we're building up stone. We need another 5,500. Okay. And it's... All being hauled over from here. Oh, I started here. Oh, good. I never thought about that. Yeah. Start on the side of the river that you actually have the supplies. Otherwise, that is a long trip back and forth. Yeah. So this ought to be rolling in here pretty quick in that rate. Um, I got a letter from Yeveni today uh, acknowledging a response I had sent about a week ago so um, it's almost like he's just finally gotten a chance to sit down and get to working on the hotfix again maybe he had other things to do for a week so it was nice seeing his his name pop up on my uh, my email list so he's uh, actively working on it again so we may see a response here soon we'll, we'll see um, that's the other tree that I planted so we got one of these birch on both sides of the of the has died of illness of the benches out here to give us a reason for this wider section in the pathway 
Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I see them walking this way, I see them walking this way, and then every once in a while they'll crisscross. But quite a few people will come through here and just head on down to whatever's there. Um, question came up about the school. Oh, a lingering, ongoing question about why nobody will ever go to school here. Uh, a test was suggested to fire this teacher and see if the kids move over to here. And if they don't, then there's just something flat out wrong with that school. Call it a bug, call it a set of rules written into the code that didn't anticipate so many schools or what, I don't know. But for some reason, it has given all precedence to this one and we've never had a child in school there or when it was over here. So I think we'll give that a try. Right now we've got, well, where are these kids living? You're living right there. So there's our test right there. That house, three in from the middle row. Get rid of this teacher. Do these kids go to school over here eventually? Now it's gonna take them a while. They've gotta go home, they've gotta go buy food, they've gotta go play with the neighbors and then maybe they'll uh, it'll eventually recalculate. And if they don't, then maybe another another comment came in, maybe they just really don't like this teacher. Maybe she's got a bad reputation and no parent will send their kid there. I don't know. So beyond that, um, I'll leave the school and, and continue to pay the wage. I mean, we can afford it, but you know, just in case something changes with the next hot fix and suddenly all these houses want to go to school, but, you know, who knows? What are we doing here? Speed 2, let's get this going. So, back over to our bridge. It's still building up supplies. This house has only got one tree left. Good. Then we'll dive into that one next. Then you guys are going for 14 trees. And then 19 trees. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, difficulty putting a housing track into a forest. So what's out there? You guys still need planks. We're still doing fine on iron, so I'm not going to worry about you yet. Um, we're harvesting. And I think I set everything back to full 20 laborers on every farm and just let the, let the economy dictate who works well or where rather than me trying to uh, regulate it. And even so, this has been completely finished. So that one's fine. You guys are needing some more help though. But we've got this many that have hired on here. And I think there was one time we saw this entire thing full. I remember that. I was surprised. Really surprised. Because it meant that there were more people who could reach here than I ever expected. But this one is almost done, although they're going to continue to hire until they bring in the last of the crops. They're doing that over here. So once all these uh, these bundles are brought in, then we should see this farm thin out and more people coming over here. There's one of them. So little by little, we ought to fill this place up. Um, sheep, how you guys doing? That's what I was going to do at the end of last episode. I was going to think seriously about... I'm going to slow it down here. What is going on here? You've got 50. you got a batch that needs three more to get going. Is there 50 sitting out over... Let's see, you're not calling for any. And you are. So one just got sent in. So two more will finish that batch. Let's just trigger those two and get some some more milk coming out of here and less, uh, less rams. So there's enough to finish off this round. When that's finished, maybe I'll trigger four more. And it gets more tallow into the system. There's tallow also from rams, I'm guessing. Or from sheep. Seems like likely. Um, I haven't actually checked that out, but I'm guessing it the uh, slaughterhouse will gather tallow from any of the animals that go in. Um, what else? Drop back to slow because I wanted to spend time thinking about the sheep, but there wasn't much to think about. So, August, your next run is November. By then, you are taking up to 1,000. Let's take up to 2,000. That should be fine. 
That'll make potentially, I don't know if it's one for one, but we'll say 2,000 iron. So that's 5,000. That fits your storage capacity if this thing gets completely full, but I really doubt that. Iron storage. These are iron ore as well, right? Yeah, so we could do with another iron storage out here somewhere. Exactly where I don't know because I still have more of these things I want to put in. So I'm going to wait. I might want more charcoal out here instead. So we'll, we'll figure that out in time of where all the storages go. These, this is starting to look good. And when I just start flinging buildings out there just to solve a, a, an issue at the moment, I always end up deleting those buildings. So, in fact, these are probably going to go away soon, and maybe there'll be more charcoal out here eventually. So I'm not going to be tossing more storage around just yet until I start to see what the, what the, the final shape of that area is going to become. And I need to see more row houses before I do that. Otherwise... It'll be a while before we can really test the well, although that's filled up more than I thought it would. No production over here, not needed. This one is citizens only. It's doing better than it was before. Okay, it's starting to fill up a bit. This one was hurting pretty hard, but we pulled out the chicken coop, made the chicken coop come over, actually over to here. Okay, that one is in now, so this can be changed to citizens only as well. So the chicken coop can, right there, go fill up and... Go to her chicken. Wait, where'd you go? Where are you going? Oh, this is the chicken coop. I thought this was. That is a house. Okay. So, little houses. Let's think about that. Broken a hand. You got a pretty good sized garden over here. And these are the two smallest ones in this area, and they, they did pretty good by tucking the house in the corner instead of out in the middle, leaving strips that are too small around the sides so this works pretty good this little house gets quite a bit of crops around it so a little property means use the corner that's about the tiniest property in the whole village right there and they got a decent amount of whatever that is are those those aren't what do my peas look like i mean i know what they look like in real life what do they look like in this game Peas would normally grow on vines or on um, on trellises. So I'm expecting something that normally your, your peas would kind of, you know, entwine themselves along a trellis. This is the way that I've grown them before. But I'm not seeing anything that represents that. So I'm not sure which plant is so abundant. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that feels right huh what are, wait a minute are there sticks in there I can't tell if there's sticks around these or not Balaklia is visiting again this will be the episode of Balaklia yeah uh, sunflower oil you're willing to buy another 121 <laughs> I think we'll just pass on that one we're at still close to the 12,000 mark um, we're fine yeah we'll, we'll pass on all that oh no Wait a minute. There was the possibility of stone. World map, Balaklia stone. We'll take another 270. Deal. And, I don't know. Does this allow you to put in more than they have for sale? I don't think it does, but, you know, just to kind of pre-purchase. Could I say I'll take 200? Now, well, let me even type it in. Okay. I'll take your next 2,000 also can't do that okay so bridge is still amassing stone 100 more and we're ready to go child is born and you guys are doing what right now you're running out of room for bricks which means we need to get another row house going yeah hmm we've got the needs satisfied here as far as stores or markets you are probably the three-story with the arcade you're probably the next one to go in how are the markets doing over here as far as maintaining stores um seem to be pretty good there pretty good there got all the clothes and warm clothes that they need and current fruits and vegetables yeah even have a little dry fish left. Let's go ahead and set you to build sooner than later. You are that one right there. 
after these three houses, the three that are up there in the woods, we'll start building that row house. This one's ready to build. This one is building, and they're already starting it. So a wooden deck with stone on top of it. Interesting. Okay, so it's more of a cobblestoned rather than a, a brick and mortar. And, oh, these probably pop out afterward. These are just forms. Oh, interesting. Yeah, these are forms while the bricks are being laid. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, we haven't taken the time to really watch a stone bridge go in yet. That is interesting. So how do they fill in the gaps between? Building this guy, the form. We're filling in. We only have one worker now. And you just went away. Uh -huh, of course. Okay, fine. Um, so we need bricks to be moved. You're pretty much out of capacity here. Um, bricks are stored here. That's full. If I were to temporarily move you up in line, I could I could at least get some of the building materials brought out there, and get rather than trying to move into yet another warehouse. Once the row houses really get going, we're probably going to run out of bricks. So I don't want to create a new storage. So they seem to just fill the whole thing in with this top layer. I notice that with this one, it doesn't really represent a filler. Now, just... Okay. Oh, well. It still looks good in the end. So all of these these forms should come out afterward. Hopefully we'll be there in time for that to happen. Apples, how did you do? I think it ends over here. So these would be the last trees. Alright, you're good. And oh, Blockly is gone. Blockly didn't buy apples. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the list. But I might be wrong. Um, Marifa did. And somebody from the river trading did. Alright, so you're still building over here. We're going to about here. And that little stagger was gardens coming down. Good. So, and, and as well as a save. So we're starting to harvest our own gardens now. Um, you're long since done, so I missed the end of that. And someone suggested that these guys may stay out in their fields longer than the cows because they spend some time in the spring being sheared. So quite possibly they still stay out in the fields just as long as the other ones. They just have a longer, or a, a, a start date that is further out. So their end date is as well. That makes sense. Um, a new family is settling into our town. What did I miss? Where? I missed something. Somebody has moved in with her relatives vacating the home. Of course, that takes me to where she moved into. I would have never found this one to know where to go and get our family over there and move them. So, yeah, there is no chance of that being beneficial to us. So we have a new family in town. And you're moving in with your two-year-old, and you come with only five gold coins to your name. So we'll see how well this works. We running? Now we are. Okay, so you guys are going probably one more arch before we hit an end. Because the arch goes all the way to the end, yeah. So one more. Two more? To there. No, we... Well, maybe two more. Why don't you get past this group of weeds? We had to live... Well, I have to live with this one, but we can bury these guys okay so you're waiting uh, messenger f Ooh. okay slow her down let's think about this are you my apple buyer right here I think it's Barvinkave that is our apple buyer nope you do buy them okay so you're willing to buy 2831 and we have more than that so deal apples 2831 and temporary you. What else do you guys want? World map. You want to sell us dried fish? Yeah, we'll do 800 of those. Hello. Hello. There you are. 
and there's the folks moving in right down there deal 800 of that coming in we have plenty of honey mead we are good for a while i hardly ever see these guys anymore so let's just bring in a thousand deal window glass we still have over 1100 dried fish iron ore salt we're fine there buying from us we've got 3000 oil now so let's get rid of 2000 of it and deal move 2000 into here sunflower oil there we go and what else do we want there we are flour is still just enough for ourselves I guess we're gonna need more windmills if we want to actually export it we don't need to we're, we're taking care of ourselves we eventually need another windmill just for ourselves warm clothes clothes we're close out right now they're at 220 warm clothes are gone interesting so we've got time we got 21 more days what is going on with our warm clothes it could be that they're just concentrating on on uh, making regular clothes first because it's number one in the list here hmm it gets hauled out of out of here regularly now so what if we did something like this 100 then when they hit the 100 if it hasn't been hauled away they'll default to here just to get it made 50 I think it comes in groups of tens so let's go to 50 here then when we hit 50 they'll they have no choice but default to the other we got plenty of supplies for the other what are you your broadcloth your textile so these two okay yeah eventually we're going to need a bit more of the sheepskin because we're not making it as fast as we're making broadcloth but this isn't that time yet what else do we have over here so warm clothes broadcloth cello uh you want to buy from us apples onions we had onions left over let's sell you 500 let's sell you 800 in between the two I was gonna say a thousand but we'll go for there deal and let's bring onions down here onions and 800 I said you guys do not buy peas you do buy carrots carrots we always run out of though apples and that's it lime and beer okay so we're done with you guys you guys don't do stone and that's all that we needed okay so that is happening bridge is still happening um constructing going to constructing and constructing so three with one more replacement coming hopefully enough to finish it. that's the last arch we should end right about here in fact there's the last flag yeah Yeah, it lines up pretty good. Once the next row house is in, we'll really see it. Can I get down low enough to see the other bridge through there? Not really. I have to go over the top to see it. Or go further away. There you are. Right there. Are right, we done? We're getting close. It's, it's a long walk to carry those bricks. <laughs> okay, just finish off the end here. Oh, the, the sides in the end, and we're done. Actually, what, another floor and then two more sides. No, that one was just, uh, just to fake you out there. And we're all going home? No, two more workers are going to finish it off. What you got here? You the base? You're just that little tiny piece right there. There's more of it. Um, anything else happening in the distance? No, then let's speed it up a little bit. Almost finished. And you're going to bring over what?
There it is. Ah, there's the, the stonework. And you're the first person across it. All right, how quickly does the game recalculate foot traffic? There's a lot of movement going on back here. Look at all that. When we get the other row houses in, that ought to pretty much solidify the road. And there they go. Okay, got you going. Do we do that to this bridge anytime soon, or do we uh, give them a break? What's stone look like in town right now? Stone is still 7,700. Okay. And somebody has the flu. And what do we have going on here? We have two people left to maintain the... Uh, just taking out the last little bits of stone off in the distance. Distance was over there. Yeah. They are using this bridge, though, but they don't use it enough to leave a, a trail. Interesting. Here comes our mead and our dried fish and something else and all the apples to haul away. You just rehired Soapworks. Is there any tallow in the system to use? No. Well, someone's bringing a hundred. Must have only been a hundred over there to bring. Yeah. So not much tallow. Not much soap. Okay. Um, did we finish this one? No, we're still working on that. So when that's done, I might initiate four more. Actually, I could do it as it gets close. That would be fine. Um, so you're, we're starting to bring supplies over here, which is going to eliminate the uh, backlog here soon and get this working again. I think this is sitting here waiting for a place to dump it. Probably so. No. Why does it say 2,000 or 4,000, yet the bar is blue like it has finished? It's preparing for burning. Okay. Huh. Because there isn't room to bring the charcoal in. Oh, I see what's going on. The bricks have taken up all the storage, so we can't bring the basic supplies in. Okay. Well, we're going to be moving a bunch of brick soon. Because we're hauling it all the way to here. You need 11,000 bricks. So if I let you just build up for a while, while we're taking out another nine trees over here to get these two going, then we should be fine as far as storage goes. Yep, they're loving the bridge. Good looking bridge, too. Mm-hmm. Wow, the ships have arrived. I feel like we need something along the shore. Like there should be houses out here watching, you know, the show. I wonder if we want a bank of houses out here, like right there, and facing outward. Yeah, these houses are never going to see anything. There'll never be a boat going beyond this point. Hmm. So, what else is happening in town right now? Cows, 16, 20. So, we have reached this point, and we're going to protect both of you guys as oxen. Did we ever lose another one? I don't think we did. There's four there. There's four there. The carts have all been satisfied now, so it's probably time to go ahead and and add one over here and get that going. Okay. And those oxen are already in place. They are over here. Right? Or were they over here? Oh, these two right here. And they're re relocating both of them. Okay. So that takes care of that. So I could move. Thinking here. I have two oxen in here. We have bulls down the line there. Let's go ahead and not protect those um, how are we in regard to tallow in this sense we've got plenty of room let's go ahead and pull some bowls out of these places so one bowl there one bowl there two young ones three young ones right here and let's just yeah we'll use the young ones as oxen so let's go ahead and slaughter you two. This one is fine. I'm pretty sure one year is old enough. 
least I believe it is. Over here, young enough for, for breeding. I didn't finish my sentence there. There's still two oxen wait. No, one of them we used already. This is, it's, yeah, same town. It's um, mate or, or buddy for that same team if that older one goes first. Um, just debating on things here. We could lose quite a few all at once, as old as our oxen are. So let's just do one from each one for now. 200 is what we were calling a batch, right? 300. We'll let those two go, and we'll pick another one soon. Okay, so same town. I don't know that... that let's see, you're getting the onions, aren't you? Yeah, you're getting the onions. Okay, no worker to load trade boat. Well... You got there. I guess... Oh, you gave up? No, you got your 800. So, got there just in time. Okay. Um, do I want to do any more with you guys? 338 apples. They'll last for a long time. So, we don't need to deal with that. And nothing else here that we really need. No, nah, we're fine. So, you guys are done. It's strange that the messenger came in so late in the season. Those boats would have been traveling through ice. So, we'll say that that was a mistake. Um, pause. This is what I wanted to know. I'm going to leave you employed this time. I want to see if this thing keeps working. Not enough wool to start production. You're kidding me! When I want to test it, there's no wool left. <laughs> production is maybe 50? Does it say? No number that says a certain amount of wool equals a certain amount of broadcloth. Yeah, that information is in some buildings, but not in all of them. If I were to make empty, would that get transferred to here? We'll see if a laborer does that. I really want to know if this guy's going to turn in the ice. I know I've seen it turning in the ice, but every time I want to prove it, something comes up. Arr. Okay, next year we're going to prove it. <laughs> we're going to take production down in you. And that way there will be some left over. In fact, we'll take production down in both of them for a little while. Make sure there's one left over. Okay, because if there's no wool, it's not going to turn anyway. So I still can't prove anything. Okay, well, luckily there's... I'm not ending the series anytime soon, so there's plenty of time to figure it out. I don't know what to do in between this series and Manor Lords. I don't think this is going to take till April. This is probably going to end sometime in March. Then there's going to be a full month left. And I'd like to not play another game just like it. So something different in between. I've been playing Salt 2 a lot lately and having a ball with it and also playing void train so if you can look those two up i was i uh, every once in a while tune into meat wagon's channel and he is hilarious to, to watch and listen to his voice sounds just like ray Ram romano is that his last name from uh, everyone loves raymond and uh, his 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 humor is like that too and he did both of those two series and i enjoyed watching them so i bought the games and i've enjoying playing them so i'm guessing it's going to be one of those two just kind of a first person kind of open world the void train you're literally on tracks but still you know just out there exploring salt 2 is a piratey kind of game on the, on the waters on the oceans and off exploring and both of those i'm having a ball with and none of them have an end goal so you can just play it and until you you know just to just to have fun so I could make a partial series out of one of those two games to give us a different kind of game in between this and Manor Lords is going to be just like this, but on steroids. It's going to be even deeper than Ostrov is. Where am I at while I'm rambling along? 40-some minutes. Okay. So just kind of killing time right now. But I think it's going to be one of those two games as the next game. If you want to preview some of you know other youtube videos of those two games salt 2 or void train and 
and uh, kind of see what it is that I've been enjoying on the side lately. What else is going on here? We are filling up bricks. That's mostly what we're doing, and the bricks have mostly moved. So in that case, we could shove you back and get this other house built now. And then we'll move back into this one. But I mostly just wanted to clear out some inventory, and we still haven't done it. We're operating now, but there's still 15,000 bricks in here. Okay, so it's up to you, both of you. Start filling this up, taking a rest, and <laughs> taking a rest. <laughs> Get to work. Okay, we've got plenty of carts for you too, so no excuses. Okay, so we are back up in here. We are starting to bring materials over, and everything's brought over. We just need to get it built. Okay, and most likely by then we will have another young family that needs a home, which means that we just might be moving into this one in order to get that house emptied, or at least to get rid of the to deplete the number of. Uh, of young couples that need a home first there is that so maybe it's next episode we finally clear that house and get the last of these laid out but in the end we will have over here another oh it's just these two left and then these three so five more houses going in and this area is done i think i don't know what's going to happen right in here might leave that for other town like buildings to spill over have a place to put them since we don't have a market that can reach any houses out here that's really the the limit though we might be able to go a little further over here we're getting closer to this market over here but over here is definitely a no with that until i do something over here and will this market which i thought it would be over here if i put it over here will it reach these houses so we'll figure all that out in the end. But right now we're building this guy. And... Any apples still sitting? No. So everything has been moved over. Look at all the people that are helping out moving everything into the granary over here. Over here, not so much and not so much. Do we have supplies yet trying to get over there? Some, but not a lot. Okay. So just peas, apples, and beetroots heading over this direction. Beetroots there, peas here. So they're not in the same order, which is nice. That means we've got uh, two places pulling from one place over there because the uh, supplies are in different, different uh, quantities. Now we put two people in this one, but not in this one. No, nope, both of them. Okay, so that's good. Over here, what's left around, left in the uh, storage? We will have sunflower oil in all of these up to 2,000. Let's make these 5,000s in case there's a pause before we get around to buying or to uh, trading them out. And then eventually when we get everything hauled out over here, we'll use the big granaries and store lots of stuff over there. So bring more of this in. Otherwise, we have some honey left over and some peas left over and some apples. So these apples must all be coming from the homes, somehow. Unless they're picking them from the public walkways and then selling them to the granaries, because it just didn't seem like there were that many apple trees out there. Maybe there are. I don't know how much comes off of each apple tree. Maybe it's a significant amount, and so it is easy to build that up inside of a home. Don't know. All right, so everything's just working along. Um, in just the amount of time we've been playing this episode, Iron's at 600. So as the system is right now, even with the delays, we have enough iron to do what we need to do. So I am happy with that for now. Village home constructed. Pause. Now you are put on hold. Let's see what happens this time. Will the game... I'm tempted to do it while running. Pause, I'm pretty sure it will force it over. But while running, that still says put on hold. So this first one that ignored my command, it, it I didn't uncheck it. I, I went through and, and rewatched that. So it the game made the decision on its own. So whether it was paused or not, I don't know if that really makes a difference because this never got unchecked. 
but let's tell you guys to relocate to here and it did do it this time okay so you pause are now empty and you are to be demolished and you are to be demolished right now okay so we get that torn down and we'll get these laid out the new houses between here and the field and and just leave a nice little road maybe at the top of the field Maybe we'll take a road through and then up to somewhere take this road down at a diagonal to here and try to fill all the rest of this in with housing rather than this you know diagonal run that we've been doing all this time that might be what it takes to really kind of shape that little area in there okay so that happened successfully this time oh i haven't even checked you've got kids cool now we rehire you will you get kids will you steal all those kids or will you sit vacant this whole time maybe we have to force these things to begin to work and then just from the sheer abundance of houses over here this will start working again on its own child has been born you are over here okay so how are families doing over here they don't have any land taxes to pay they should be pretty rich but they have to buy more food than the other ones do you've got booze I guess I just assumed something. I assumed that they would have to go to the tavern, which maybe they can't reach over here. That's quite possibly a thing. So we need a tavern over here as well as the barber surgery and a school. Okay. But I assumed that they would go to the tavern and drink. They wouldn't buy it and bring it home. If they did, they had to have bought it from all the way over here. Here, where was that mead? There was mead in one of these. Okay. Never mind. Okay, a couple of us. Oh, over there. That one. Okay. So they ha would have to buy from there unless they also are allowed to buy from the granary. In which case, there's nothing I can do to fix that. Okay, that's quite possible. Um, Dirkachi, that's what I saw. Something was just nagging at me. There was a noise, there was a bell. Find it, Dirkachi. Okay, Dirkachi loves charcoal, and we love selling it to them. 15,000, can we keep up with that? We got 40,000 in town. Is it time to up this one a bit? Let's up you to 12. And assume that as the thousands leave, more thousands will come in. And we'll still get 15 out of that 12. I think that's a fair assumption. Okay, so Dracachi Iron, this is what you're offering. Metal parts, we're sitting at over 300 still, so we're fine there. Leather, don't know what we're sitting at. 600, but there's close to 1,000 in here, right? At least it... We set it to maintain a thousand, and you're doing that. So there's a thousand there, and we drop you down to 250. Should we get that running again? Okay, so there's plenty of leather still. What else we got? Dirkachi wants to sell us. Sallow, we'll take that. We'll take a thousand this time. I think we're actually getting to where we could handle that much. Um, dried fish, we need. There's 300 that we. We bought, what, 600 or 800 last time? Let's get another 500. It doesn't go bad. So, deal. I just don't know when Hotfix 3 is going to drop. And we won't need to buy any more. I actually might be selling it soon. Uh, potatoes. We've got 2,500 in town. So, we're going to need to sell ours soon. By next summer, we need to get rid of those. You want shoes. We have shoes. Let's sell you 2,000 shoes. Deal. Over here. We're running slow. Yeah. Let's stock shoes. 2,000 of them. And do that. Next, you want from us buckwheat. Where are we at buckwheat? We keep fluctuating between 2,000 and 4,000. So as long as we're within that range, I, I know that we're okay. That's the primary food for our chickens right now. 
Okay, you demand charcoal, you demand chicken eggs. We never quite have enough, and I guess we need to start thinking about another round of, of chicken eggs, another round of chicken, just because we're growing and we're barely satisfying our own needs. So this hits this market. Yeah. These, they it used to go to a big granary over here. But that's not a thing anymore. So that gets brought down here as well. These chickens are here. In stock is eight and they're leaving, and ten and they're leaving. In stock over here is nine and they're leaving. Okay. All that to say, where's the most logical place to place a fourth chicken coop? Do we distribute that around or we just keep it near where it's gonna be stored? In which case it's over here. I could see that hitting somewhere out in here with farms, with with maybe the pigsties and things like that out over in this area. We're getting a little crowded in our current areas unless this is becoming further and further away from what is central. That's where we began. This is more central now to put it near here, but we're pretty well built up in here. Nothing really left space-wise in here unless we get rid of the clay pit. Which eventually we will someday. Although there isn't a pathway in between. Would have been nice to have walked over. Hmm. But there's not a lot more construction happening in this area of town anymore. Except for whatever's going to be right in here. Okay. Um, I don't know where to put more chickens. This is, again quite a ways away from what's going to be the central storage for all those supplies. I'm thinking long term now when I start placing buildings. And I'm thinking population wise, this is probably the population that's going to be taking care of them. So I think we're into chickens over here. And probably a couple more. Yeah, okay. So as I see needs pop in uh, here, that helps me to start thinking about long term. So you are demanding chicken eggs, sunflower oil. We're still doing great over here. In fact, I'd say the whole amount. So, but can we get the whole amount over here? I think we can. In March we can't, but in January we can. 30 to 35. Let's do that. So sunflower oil. 30 to 35 and temporary that one we should see all the laborers that are available which means uh what looking for a job we got at least 13 that could pop into here at some point and help bring all of the sunflower oil down and it will relieve the storage over here where we're storing a lot of it you are also getting it and there's 1100 that's made it down here so that's helpful Okay, what else do you guys want? And trigger me to go think about other things. Honey, we're back to about our thousand mark. And apples, we still have 1900 in the system. We're in January, we, in July, we make more apples. I'd say we have a thousand we could get rid of, that we still have to get it down here. We're starting to tax our labor force now, but let's try it. Let's get another thousand apples down here. Okay, so you're on your way. Do we keep an apple supply in here? I don't know. I don't think about that one yet. Are we done? Um, we're done on this side. And... Don't need to buy any of these. I think we are done. Yeah. Okay, so am I done? I'm about there too. What else are we waiting for? Is there anything? We're brought supplies over to here. We're starting to build these houses now. We're tearing this one down. Okay, that one's almost done. So maybe in between episodes, I'll lay out more houses through here. Kind of take my time to creatively grab as much of this space as possible. To the extent that, that the game will let me. There's only certain distances, lengths of the property. And then we are getting this guy built. I'll wait for your comments on on uh, pigs, 
versus more row houses, though I do want to put in at least the one. And But at some point, before we go too much further, I need to get more gardens in to balance out the so many people that are going to live in here without any gardens. So we can't finish the row houses and do pigs. I don't think we've got the food capacity to do it. And doing so is going to give us more people than we have jobs, but it'll also give me a reason to start laying out more of the island over here. So there's pros and cons to both. Pigs eat up a lot of food, and it shows us one new building. So that's why I'm hesitant to really get into it when I could see so many more of new buildings with the population that comes into here. That's my thinking. Otherwise, there's nothing else going on up in here. Uh, cows, how did we do here? We've got another round going. And no hides waiting. So that all got taken care of. Over here, we could do four more. Do we have anything already being done? Village house is done, okay. Um, over here, there is no animals for slaughtering and, slaughtering and no sheep skins waiting. So we are ready for four more. Let's just ram, ram, ram. There's plenty of rams. So one, two. Although, pause. I don't think he took it. If I wait until the end of March, we can grab the wool off of them first. There is that logic to it. So I will this, I guess, just save it right there and remind myself I got to come back into here and deal with this as soon as we thaw, as soon as the, uh, the, uh, the shearing happens. Okay, we'll call this one done then. Catch you later, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.